All right. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking cold today, but we gotta finish this. So what I've done is ran my speaker wire up. Little pro tip, when you're running the first wire, just run it up here, right? Then run it to the back, cut it. Run your second wire and put some fat marks on it. And then before you cut it in the back, because you know which one you just ran, put some fat marks on it as well. So you know that's the marked one. So now you have a left side and a right side. So for the wires, I just brought them in through. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but there's some daylight back there. And then you just pop them through. And then I undid this one and this one that's 10 millimeter. Tucked them up underneath here and then they pop out. And then they're gonna go right along the side, right through the original wire holes and then right into the stock speaker wire connectors. So I'm back here wiring this up and uh, all the 90s come flashing back to me. I start remembering all the little tips and tricks from ghetto wiring systems with uh, home speakers and home stereos. Oh man, Walkmans, Velcro to the dash, Sony CD players, anti-skip. Remember that? Oh my God, how, how big is your DBS, bro? Now I was thinking about how my car has the subs built into the seat. And since I have no way of separating the audio or rather the um, EQ to turn the subs up or down based on what these are set at. Total epiphany right now. Run another bridge wire from the back if you have to or take one of these right and left and split into a um, another knob for bass adjust that would intercept before you connect to these two sets of wires and then you would have a bass adjust over here or maybe below the volume knob over there and then you would have volume for all of it and then an actual bass reducer knob i might end up putting that in when i do the final install okay so i'm pretty sure i got the wires separated i've tagged out the constant so that if i need to use it later i can i've cut off all the connectors for the stock stereos because i'm not going to use them individually wrapped each of the wires I'm not going to use and then rolled them back on the wire loom and taped them up into the wire loom itself so they're out of the way and then I believe I have the right channel and the left channel separated and ready I'm obviously going to test all this before I wire it in connecting a headphone with a couple of split wires on my phone and then test and make sure it's positive negative etc and then I'll wire them up to these guys that are coming from the amp so amp wired up, we got a fuse protected, pretty thick cable. It's not going very far, so I'm not too worried about the thickness. And I'm, again, I'm not pushing a whole lot of amps or speakers. So we got hardwire battery straight to the positive 12. I found the key on is to the uh, connector for my uh, antenna motor that I pulled, so then there's no motor. So there's a key on inside there. Use that for my remote, and then my ground is just going right to the ground here. Then my speaker wires, again, run up through the daylight hole. Around behind the seat, through there to there. So all the right positives, right negatives are wired in, and all the left positives and left negatives are wired in. And I've tested it, everything works. This is where I could definitely see wiring in a couple of pots between these and between each of these different sets of wires. Say for example, the base subs that are in the lower back. You could have another knob over here, over here that adjusts that level. So the subs compared to everything else, you could make them lower or higher. You could then also have a balance pot and you can use the stereo pot to do that. You can Google it. Instead of the left being the grounds and the middle being the output and the right being the inputs, you switch one. So you'd have ground output input for left side input output ground for right side so that as you turn the potentiometer you're turning one side down and turning the other side up you could also do that with front to rear you could have all of them going into one side and all of them coming out the other side and then that way you could pan back and forth from left to right you could also do a balance from front to back based on these wires running them through each other uh, there's all kinds of different options with those potentiometers you just have to figure them out and wire them in all right guys here it is Install is finished. I think it looks pretty decent. It's technically sleeping right now on battery. Lock screen, basically. Battery is powering it. It can stay like this for days without draining it. And then again, once you turn the car back on, it's gonna start charging it again and powering it. The key on 
we'll make it light up the screen and start playing the last song wherever you left off and then when you turn the key off it's gonna lock screen it back and pause the song for you made a volume knob out of a spent shotgun shell drill out the blast cap or the percussion cap whatever it's called a little JB weld on there make sure you do it right the first time because this is kind of permanent everything's wired up let's uh let's see how she works here we go key on <laughs> 